Hello, my friends. It is almost New Year's Eve. It is almost time to double down and commit to our New Year's resolutions. If you haven't been listening to the series I've been doing on New Year's resolutions, I want to give you a quick summary of all of what I've been teaching right here. And I want to tell you a little bit more about the mini course we have inside the clutch all about how to make and keep your resolutions. So this December, I have been talking about resolutions and talking about the idea of using them to bring your life more in line with your values. In my book, resolutions are a really important way of orienting our lives towards our values, towards the people we want to be and the ways that we really want to spend our time. Our primitive brains, the part of our brain that evolved the longest ago, does not like change. It likes stability. It likes consistency. And those things can suck. You can be stable and consistent in your misery, in your self-harming habits, in your stagnation, in that dead-end job, in that dead-end relationship, watching too much Netflix in a way that doesn't feel good, eating or drinking or shopping or using drugs or whatever you're doing to numb out because you don't know how to deal with your feelings, right? All of that can feel horrible, but to your primitive brain, as long as it stays the same, it seems safe. So your brain is always going to be dragging you in the direction of staying the same. And you have to use your prefrontal cortex, the more evolved conceptual part of your brain to articulate your values, to guide your life. So I really think that resolutions are a beautiful way of bringing your life more in line with your values. That is the opposite of how most of us use them. Most of us try to use our resolutions to prove our value. We pick something we feel bad about. We pick something we shame ourselves about. We declare to ourselves that we're going to change it. We don't really spend any time planning for how and why that might be difficult and how to overcome it. We just have a perfectionist fantasy of being perfectly able to change this thing and feel great about ourselves starting January 1st. And that generally does not happen. So when you are trying to set a resolution from shame or from feeling bad about yourself, it's not going to work. When you set a resolution from your value, from a positive orientation towards who you want to be, you have a much better chance. But even once you've done that, you don't want to have to leave it to chance. You want to know how to plan a resolution in such a way that you actually can stick with it and keep it. And most of us skip the most important step, which is planning to fail, anticipating all the obstacles that will come up and planning how to approach them. Some of them are circumstances like, you know, you are resolving to yell at your kids less and your kids are going to act crazy sometimes in a way that makes you want to yell, right? So it's going to be circumstances outside of you sometimes but it's always going to involve your thoughts and feelings. In order to change the way you're acting, you're gonna have to change how you're thinking and feeling. So any plan for a resolution or a way you want to become or be in the future that doesn't involve a very specific concrete plan to change your thoughts and feelings will not work. It is just a hypothetical exercise that gives you some dopamine now and will never come true. But I think that resolutions are such an important and valuable way of becoming the people we want to be. So I want you to understand how to do it better. I want you to pick a resolution based on your values, not based on where you feel bad about yourself. I want you to plan for your resolution in a way that is actually practical and that not only brings you in line with your values, but also enables you to actually stick to it. I want you to make a plan where you anticipate the obstacles and the challenges and you know how to handle it when you fail. And you have a plan to actually change the way you think and feel so it becomes a real new permanent part of who you are. Resolutions are how we bridge our values and our lives, right? The lives we have now and the lives we want to have, our aspirations. And coaching and self-coaching are how we bridge the brain we have now, which is not able to create that outcome, and the brain we need to have to do it. So important to understand. Your brain, if you don't do anything about it, will be the same on January 1st that it is now. And if your brain right now could produce this outcome for you, could produce the resolution that you want being successful, you'd already be doing it right? You need a changed brain to get a changed result in your life. 
So you have to change the way that you're thinking if you want to be able to produce a different outcome in the new year. That is why when you join the clutch before or on January 1st, so anytime between now and midnight January 1st in your time zone, you are going to get our mini course all about making and keeping resolutions as a totally free bonus that will be unlocked as soon as you join. So this bonus includes a whole ebook about how to make and keep your New Year's resolutions, and that covers issues like choice overload, which sabotages your goals. It covers how to practice constraint so that you don't get overloaded with too many options, how to avoid decision fatigue. It talks about and teaches you about the importance of active focus in keeping a resolution. It teaches you how to avoid a perfectionist fantasy of coming up with a resolution that is too ambitious and is just a fantasy because that feels good in the moment rather than a resolution you can actually do. And it teaches you how to take massive action to accomplish a resolution. There's also a brand new exercise that helps you choose a resolution in line with your values. So it walks you through the process of choosing your values and then how to pick a resolution that relates to those values. And then we have a plan any resolution workbook as well that then once you've chosen that resolution, it walks you through the exact process of planning, not just for the time when it does work, but for all the times that you might have obstacles come up, fall off the wagon, face a challenge, your brain doesn't want to do it, it gets hard, whatever it is, so that you can actually have a real plan. You're going to feel so much more empowered when you have a plan that anticipates the problems that might come up. That is when you're going to know that you can actually change. And all of the coaching resources in the clutch are going to help you change your thinking so that you can actually produce different outcomes and you can actually become that person who can keep that resolution. And in fact, in January, we're having bonus calls in the clutch just dedicated to helping you stick to your resolutions. So you can get help framing your resolution if you're still having trouble figuring out what to do. You can get help with accountability, with overcoming challenges or obstacles, with working on what new thought do you need to think to help you get motivated and stay committed. Whatever you need help with, we're going to be having special calls focused on your resolutions and making sure that you really go through the shift you need to accomplish them. So in order to join us, you got to join us by January 1st, midnight on January 1st, the ball ends, (laughs) the bonus expires. Then we're going to spend all of January really working on implementing and refining and getting back on the wagon if we fall off and just really staying accountable and committed to our resolutions. So to join us in doing that, text your email to plus one, 347-934-8861. You don't need a code word, just plus one, 347-934-8861, or visit unfuckyourbrain.com forward slash clutch. It's unfuckyourbrain.com forward slash clutch. The holidays can be really busy and overwhelming, and it's easy to sort of put off thinking about next year. But when you do that, you miss this opportunity to set a resolution at this time that is sort of magnified by the ritual of the year. Of course, a person can set a goal anytime, but there is kind of a push behind New Year's resolutions. You know a lot of other people are doing it. When you join the clutch, everyone in the clutch is going to be working on it. And there's something about the kind of winter and the slowing down of time and the solstice when things start to get a little bit brighter every day that I think really does help us set new aspirations, set new goals, orient ourselves towards what's coming next. And this year has been a very challenging year for a lot of people. There's a lot of instability in the world. It's really natural to feel like there's such big problems in life and such big problems in the world. Why should you bother worrying about a resolution? But the truth is that being able to produce the outcome you want in your life, being able to control your own life is the stepping stone for being able to make anything better in the world. Feeling hopeless and overwhelmed and not bothering to make the most of your life because the world is in a dark place is really just giving in to despair. And I don't think that that helps anyone. I think that what we need are capable, empowered, competent, productive, caring, loving people who know how to make shit happen. And the place you prove that to yourself is inside your own life. And the self-esteem and confidence you get from that is going to help you show up in the world in such a bigger and better way. And it's going to help you contribute to making the world a better place as well. 
So let's do that work together in the clutch in 2024 or starting right now. Text your email to plus one three four seven nine three four eight eight six one. No code word necessary. Or go to unfuckyourbrain.com forward slash clutch. That mini course on how to make and keep any resolution will be unlocked as soon as you join, as well as your first month course learning exactly how to change your thinking. My clutch coaches and I are there to support you. We have our amazing community of women doing this work. And we just can't wait to all go into 2024 together, really committed to making our own lives and the world a better place. Let's go.